To make DVD case covers like these in less than three minutes, we must first create a template. In Photoshop Elements, we start by creating a new file and setting the size, which for a DVD case is 5 inches square. We set the resolution at 300 pixels and leave the background transparent. Make sure the ruler is set to whichever measure you use, we're using inches, and then drag the guidelines to establish a quarter of an inch border. Go to layer 1, right click and rename it background. Keeping the layer highlighted, add another and name it base color. Keep the layer highlighted and use the rectangular marquee tool to form a box to fit within the guidelines. Now go to the color palette and select your base color. In this example, we'll use neutral beige. Use the paint bucket tool to pour the color within the rectangle. Now stop the marching ants. Select the move tool. To create a box for the image, we reset the guidelines, moving the lower guide to three and a half inches, and the top to one and a half. Bring the left side in to three quarters of an inch and the right to four and a quarter inches. Keeping the base color highlighted, create another new layer and name it Mask. With the mask layer highlighted, use the rectangular marquee tool to create a box to the guidelines. To make it easy to see the mask area, we use the paint palette to select any contrasting color and pour this into the box using the paint bucket tool. We can now clear the guidelines as we don't need them anymore. To make a neat edge to the image, we'll put a small frame round the mask. To do this, make sure that the mask layer is still highlighted and then select a new layer and name it Inner Frame. Now go to Edit and select Stroke and in the menu, set the width of the edge. This is a matter of personal taste but we'll use 15 pixels and select an outer colour of white. Click OK. Highlight the mask layer once more and select another new layer. Hover the cursor between the mask and the new layer and press the ALT key and, as you see here, the cursor changes shape. Keeping the cursor in this position with the ALT key pressed, left click. An arrow will appear showing that the layer is now linked to the mask layer below. This layer will accept your picture and we call it Image. Now go to File, select Open and locate the picture you're going to use. Back in Photoshop, Select All, then Copy, and return to the template window. Make sure that the image layer is still highlighted and paste the image. The picture is now within the mask where it can be moved or resized. It's now time to work on the look of the case. First highlight the background layer and then select a contrasting colour from the paint palette. Use the paint bucket tool to apply the colour to the background border. To make some additional adjustments, highlight the base colour layer and then select the FX tab. In the resulting menu, Double-click whichever effect you want to use. In this example, we'll use a simple bevel. Now go to the Layer tab, 
Then highlight the base color layer, double click FX to bring up a menu so you can adjust the effect to your liking. When you're happy with the look, click OK to finish. We can do the same thing to the inner frame. Select the inner frame layer, followed by FX, and then choose the effect. Go to the layer tab and then to the inner frame layer where you double click on FX and then, as before, make your adjustments. To change the inner frame color, zoom in on the frame to make it easier to work on. Then, having selected your color, use the Paint Bucket tool to apply the color into the frame. Zoom out, and that job is done. All that's left is to use the text tool to insert the title and the DVD information as you would any Photoshop caption. Make sure you save the template as a PSD file so that you can use it in the future. Now we'll see how well it works by running a real-time test. Load the template and highlight the image layer. Place your cursor in the center of the icon, press the control key and left click. The delete key will now remove the image. Highlight the mask layer before opening the file menu and getting the new picture from your hard drive. Now select all, copy, and then back in the template window, making sure that the mask layer remains highlighted, paste the picture, which will now appear within the mask area for you to size just as you did before. Click the green tick icon to confirm. Creating a different color scheme is equally fast. Click on the background layer and use the palette to select your chosen color. Use the Paint Bucket tool to pour the new color into the edge of the cover. To change the color of the inner frame, select a color in the color palette. Highlight the inner frame layer. Uh, to make things easy at this stage, we usually zoom in onto the frame. Pour your selected color into the frame and then zoom out. It's now time to change the caption. To do this, first of all, highlight the text layer. Now, double-click the text and overtype with the new title. We'll use the end sign. When you're finished, click the green tick icon to confirm. To amend the framing of your cover, highlight the base color layer and then go down to the FX tab. Select a menu option, then go to the Layer tab and then click FX. Make your adjustments in the Settings menu until you achieve the desired look. Once you're happy, click OK. All that's left is for you to print the cover and the job is done. We set out to demonstrate how to make a new DVD cover in less than three minutes, and the clock confirms that we completed this task in under two and a half minutes. Once you've made the template, it really is that easy. I do hope you found this of interest, and I thank you for watching.